Hi guys, this is Alex at BlackBoxMyCar.com. Today I will be going over selling battery B to give you guys more information about this specific battery kit. We're seeing more and more dash cam battery packs that are being introduced in Korea. Uh, and people are wondering what's the best one out there and what are the differences between all, all, all the other uh, battery packs that we offer and that's also in Korea. We're currently offering three different battery packs, Lucas Battery Pack, the T-Power Plus Alpha, and the Selling Battery B. The Lucas battery pack is not really designed for the dash cam and it's not really good uh, because it's using a very old technology and it's not really designed to last uh, for a very very long period of time. Whereas the T-Power Plus Alpha is more designed tailored towards the dash cam but it still is a lot weaker than the Selling Battery B. Selling Battery B is the most powerful and the most popular dash cam battery pack right now and that's because the selling battery B is big enough, 6,000 milliamps, it's big enough to last itself for up to 72 hours, up to 6 to 7 days uh, worth of parking mode. And therefore, a lot of people are jumping onto the selling battery B. And I mean, Korean people have been using these dash cams for... Uh, starts starting around 2006 and a lot of people hardwire their devices and and that wasn't enough because if you're not really driving your vehicle your car battery is not really giving you that power to last when the vehicle is parked and therefore people looked into getting a a battery pack installed but these battery packs were not dedicated for the dash cam they were using car battery packs or the the audio uh, battery packs so they they were designed to last when the vehicle gets parked but they're not they didn't really work out all well together unless um, you get them installed from a very proper shop. And therefore, Selling decided, you know what, we're going to jump into this market and, and specifically target the BMW people, BMW owners. The reason being is, if you hardwire your dash cam to BMW, to your DNW, uh, especially for the newer ones, you're going to see a sign that's called battery discharge every single morning. It doesn't really <laughs> harm your vehicle or it doesn't really uh, do anything to your car but that seeing that message every single morning really uh, scares a lot of BMW owners away and, and getting a dash cam installed or even having a dash cam uh, in there and at the same time BMW's uh, BMW Group is actually the most popular and the best seller in Korea and therefore there's a lot of big market for it and selling saw that market uh, growing and the concern that the BMW owners are having and therefore they designed this selling battery B so that you don't have to rely on your car battery because if you're relying on your car battery to get that power from for your dash cam when your vehicle is parked you are putting significant amount of stress onto that your car battery and this is not just for BMW for any car Toyota, Hyundai, uh, Mercedes, Porsches, Lamborghinis all the same thing because at the end of the day you are using a car battery and and if you don't drive enough or if you are living in a place where uh, like a colder areas then you are putting a lot more stress during the winter time and your battery might have to get replaced every two years instead of every four years or five years and therefore Selink decided okay we're gonna make a big battery pack that's this, that's going to design uh, it's going to be designed in a way that you don't literally have to hardwire it to I mean uh, you don't have to borrow power from your car battery because if you look at the Lucas battery pack or the T Power Plus Alpha you are still using your car battery and once that car battery drops to certain value then it moves over to the uh, to the battery pack dedicated battery pack and then it becomes how uh, well designed or how powerful um, how long it can last depending on what kind of battery uh, system you're using and at the same time how um, how big it is at the end of the day with that being said selling 6000 milliamps and it's using the latest uh, battery technology called um, lithium iron phosphate battery so it's not so weather dependent so even if you're living in a colder areas uh, your battery capacity isn't going to drop significantly during the winter time and to give you a rough idea uh, to straight up I have a customer in Fort McMurray and he used it for about four months now he was very he was one of my very first customers and he says he's only using the front DR650 and he his uh, parking mode works for about six days and this was during winter time so in the summertime this will get a lot better 
from our, our own testing in Vancouver, about six to seven days. And, and depending on how, where you park, obviously, it will vary. But for us, just in the city, it worked out just fine uh, for me. So let's go a little bit into uh, what these cables are and what is this battery pack capable of, basically. Um, when you are considering a battery pack, you're either uh, wondering because you don't want to hardwire your device just because you don't want to mess with your um, fuse box of your vehicle. You don't feel safe touching that or you don't want to void any warranty or whatsoever and that's why some people look into the battery packs in a way that you are going to charge this battery pack at home and when you park at your work or park at grocery stores you can use that po this power to feed your dash cam in the parking mode other groups of people obviously more uh, specifically i guess the korean people in korea they literally need the parking mode just because the streets are narrow tight and at the same time the cars are very expensive sometimes you, your car may get vandalized and whatnot so uh, people want to monitor their vehicle and we have the same group of customers here in north america that's specifically looking for uh, more protection in their vehicle just because they they're now familiar with the dash cams and whatnot so you can either charge this at home by using an ACDC converter and plugging this straight into the wall plug, wall ACDC converter. And it only takes about an hour to fully charge the selling battery B. And you can use it for up to 72 hours according to the stats of this uh, company. And then if that is the case, then you're just going to connect them like this plug it into your car battery, uh, car cigarette lighter jack or your uh, home converter and then connect your dash cam cable right here and that's it. You don't have to touch anything with the main battery tech or even with this guy unless you want to add an expansion pack. There's an expansion pack available for selling battery B. As you can see, this is the cable for it. And it's, it has another, you're basically getting another 6,000 million of power can give you significant amount of parking mode hours. Um, lots of uh, truck drivers, uh, a lot of uh, US military officers that park their cars in the base, military base, or uh, truck drivers that uh, leave their cars while you know, they're, they're on duties and whatnot. They seem to really, really like the selling. Those two groups are most popular when it comes to the battery pack. And now we're seeing more and more uh, just regular everyday drivers that are just looking to cover their car, either because their car was vandalized in the parking lot or they just want to get that more protection. Anyways, moving on. And like I said, um, there are two different ways of using the battery pack now that we're gone away from just plugging into the cigarette lighter or charging at home. You can fully take advantage of this device if you do hardwire them into your fuse box. And one way of doing it is if you just want to rely on the car on this specific battery pack, all you need to do is connect this guy. If you look at the wire actually, you're going to see white line and a solid uh, wire with no white lines. So the, the solid black is going to get grounded to the metal bolt and the white line cable is going to go into your ACC fuse. And that can give you power to charge this battery pack while you're driving. And if you just want to rely on the selling battery B without having to move over to the car battery once the selling battery runs out, then this is the only cable that you need to hardwire for. So if you, like I said, if you just want to charge it while you're driving and you don't want to use your car battery to not put a stress on it, then you can just simply wire this two together and put your dash cam power cable in there. If you want to fully take advantage of the selling, if you want to go D mode, the intense mode, <laughs> I would say, you need to hardwire this and you need to also hardwire the main battery cable right there. So again, this cable also has white tag, white lines and a black one, black solid one. Solid one goes into the ground and the white line one would go into your battery fuse, meaning a fuse that has power when the vehicle is off. For this guy, repeating myself again, 
fuse, um, ACC fuse, the fuse that doesn't have power when the vehicle's off. So going over to the extended battery pack, this is the extended battery pack. And, and if you are comfortable with all this, and if you want extra battery power, you can simply put them together uh, and gives you literally 6,000, 6,000. It will give you weeks of uh, battery power. Um, what did I miss? Uh, this battery pack can charge about 1,000 times uh, and very fast, only takes an hour, not so weather dependent. Just going over the list here, how it uses a Samsung battery pack, it doesn't use that LG battery pack anymore and the Lucas battery pack failed uh, big time just because it's just really really weak and at the same time was using the LG battery pack and Samsung just beats it in the battery uh, segment and Selling Battery actually, the president of the Selling Bee came from Samsung so he used to be an ex-Samsung uh, employee and if, and if you're very familiar with the, the Korean culture or the Samsung uh, culture, you would know that this man is a genius. Um, with that being said, uh, it needs a consistent, consistent 6M. So you can't simply, just because you don't understand this, or if you have your PowerMagic Pro installed, and just because it's a little bit thicker and I mean the cables don't really the manual isn't all that clear some people tend to just use their um, multi uh, multi safer or the power magic pro and simply connect this guy into the power magic pro and unfortunately you're not going to get consistent six amps and that means you're not going to be uh, this battery pack won't understand it will get it will basically gets frozen and you have to reset it just by pressing it right in there that's not too difficult so that's okay um, it has an automatic cutoff, which is a good thing for battery. If it goes above 80 degrees Celsius, it will automatically cut off power for your dash cam and also it will stop charging itself. 80 is pretty significant, so I don't think a lot of people will come across that uh, in that situation, but it has that, so which is a very, very good thing. Um, and if you are using, if you do hardwire it into the car's uh, main battery tag, then uh, once your battery, your car battery drops it to 12.0V, then the selling battery will cut off power for you. And that would be speaking of multiple, multiple days, and you're using your last resource, which is your car battery. So I, I think that was, I think I went over pretty much everything of what this battery pack is capable of. I'm not going to be including a how to install video just on this video. Just I just wanted to keep it short and I wanted to give you guys an information on this just because I, so many people have questions about this specific device and, and what this is all about basically. And, and so please look into the description. I'll probably follow up with the how to install, how to do an install. I'll just do a walk around video on my car. Um, but with that being said, if you have any other questions, please feel free to email me at info at blackboxmycar.com. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching.